Saturday. Okay, here. Give us more. Saturday. Here. So we have been up since 6:30, and we ate breakfast, and we played, and we hung out, and we did a bunch of stuff, and now we're playing with Play-Doh. Right, Avery? Doing letters and eight Phoenix is making numbers. We like it's like nine thirty at this time. <laughs> at this time. Yuck. Yuck. What's so yuck? Look at your hair, Avery. Two hundred four. <laughs> Go fix your hair. One hundred eighty-seven. One hundred eighty-seven, and I already made the um, grocery list so for tomorrow. And. Today I'm going to go do my nails, I'm going to do a gel manicure, and my eyebrows. And then we have to go shopping for work clothes because I have not bought anything. I have a few things that I, if I had to, but and hopefully that goes. And then we're going to take the kids to Grandma's house while me and John go to try to look for some work clothes for a little bit. Right? Yes. <laughs> I saw that one there. Oh, is Play-Doh in there? Yes. Oh, push it out. Whoa. I was just organizing this. It's and 204, to a, Mommy. A little bit. I wait till these like dry out. I throw them out, and then I it's bring out a whole batch of new ones. So this is what we've been down to. And I let them play with them, play with them, play with them. And then once that, once I kind of get rid of all the out of them, I'll take out more because we have a bunch in the closet. So. Every time we play, I throw away at least one or two of them because they get just, you know, look like, ugh. No, that's not fun to play with Play-Doh like that. You're making all these numbers? Yes. That's so cool. I don't got to mama. Okay. Good morning guys, happy Sunday. So last night I went, we went to Kohl's. I only got a few things. This is, I took out everything that I already owned that I could wear to work. Um, so this is everything I already owned. I bought this at Kohl's and I bought this at Kohl's and I think I bought a shirt at Kohl's, but everything else I had. And then last night I went to Walmart Oh, and I got the shoes. <clears throat> I picked. I went with these. And last night I went to Walmart to see what I can find. And I had to buy everything because the fitting room was closed. So I bought like six pairs of pants and a whole bunch of other stuff because the fitting room was closed and I couldn't try anything on. So now I'm about to try all this on and try to compile different outfits for the week and see what I'm going to need left. But... This is what I'm doing, and it's 8.27. Last night, Phoenix threw up while I was out. He ended up sleeping here with John. I ended up sleeping with Avery. So it's been a rough night, but I'm going to focus on doing this right now and then tackle something else. So wish me some. All right, guys, I'm on the move. I dressed. <sighs> okay, I got a good amount of outfits picked out and kind of like different ways that I can wear different things so that was good majority no let me see I think just two of the six pants that I bought yesterday at Walmart were a success the other ones um they were good and I liked them but I just needed one size up which they didn't have and that's why I got so the two that I got that I liked were the size that I originally thought I was the other ones they didn't have that size so I got a size down because it was like oh I think these stretch and they fit but they're just a little too snug in in my stomach area and I'm like oh, I'd rather be comfortable so that's good because at least I know that I like those or whatever I just need to go size up but the Walmart that I went to yesterday didn't have the size up obviously so I just left CVS I had to just get diapers because I had uh extra care bucks that was expiring it expires this week so they had a diaper deal i paid 3.97 got five dollars back so that was good got two packs of diapers and now i'm going to walmart to return all the stuff that i'm not keeping and i'm going to a different walmart to see if they have the sizes in the other stuff that i like at least the pants that i got i want to get them in black because i don't have the gray and a beige those are the two that fit good and I have a black pants already so 
but I feel okay because I have my first outfit picked out my first few outfits picked out and other kind of options um, so if I can find these pants in this size that'll be great um, so I have to return all that at Walmart and then pick up a few things for the Super Bowl because we're having a few friends over not a lot but a few friends over and yesterday um, I forgot some stuff so I have to pick that up then I'm going to the hair salon to get my hair blow dried for tomorrow um, and so but I do, I know once I go to sleep tonight it'll be like tomorrow it won't be the same so I'm gonna have them wrap it like I did for my cousin's wedding I had them wrap it and then I took it out before the wedding but this time I'm gonna have them wrap it and then I'm just gonna stay like that until tomorrow so all Super Bowl and all the rest of tonight I'm gonna have it like that that's why I'm trying to do everything before so this way after the salon I can just come home and relieve John because he's been with the kids and everything and um because he has some stuff he needs to get done so this is our busy busy crazy last day before starting work but whew, I'm trying to just breathe and not like let my anxiety take over and like rule everything I know it's going to be a late night I know I'm not going to be able to sleep because I feel like I have so much things to do I have to organize my purse and figure all that out and all this might seem silly to some people but I haven't worked in four and a half years, so I just feel like over anxious about it, overthinking it. I know it. So it's like I just want, I'm very excited about it as well, but I just want the first week to be the end of the week. So I feel that like relief and the anxiousness is gone because I've already know what to expect. Even just tomorrow, like I'll have a better idea. I'll know what classroom I'm in. I'll know, I'll just know more, which right now I don't know a ton. So I feel very like anxious about it. But once I have like a day or two, it's like, okay, well, I know, I know what to expect a little bit. And also I'm anxious about leaving Avery. I know she's going to cry and it's not going to be easy, but I just hope that her whole day isn't like that. You know, like I just hope that she eventually calms down and stuff and she, because she has the potential to literally cry the whole time. So I'm just really, 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 really hoping that she just like clings to one of the teachers or somebody that makes her feel you know okay and she doesn't go the whole entire day with crying so there's a lot of feelings and emotions it's like a roller coaster but i'm excited so here we go off to walmart again <laughs> crazy under here because <laughs> my hair is all wrapped up but great now John took the kids and they're going to Toys R Us because I promised Phoenix that he would go if he drank from a new cup for five days <laughs> and he did uh, he's very, it's very hard for him to change to using new things so we got him to use a new cup that he can't break he can't bite it off so I told him we'll take him. So John's taking him. I'm gonna head home, make the chili dip for tonight, and then um, clean up. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god, maybe I shouldn't have put the hat on. I have to put something on it to make it not like go crazy all day. We'll see. <sighs> and I bought something to put on these bags i'm gonna try it out when i get home see how it works ask my friend to tell me if she does makeup i don't but maybe she can help me so i don't look so crazy every day to work i look a little more awake and these under eyes are not what did you get in toys r us i went with daddy you went bye bye i am mommy went bye bye and you went bye bye with daddy yeah it's and you got a pink school bus because you're going to school yeah, now you have two school bus because Robert has one and Avery has one. Two papa. And Daddy did your hair. He found this thing of mine and put, gave her. <laughs> and that's how he did her hair. And what did you pick out, bub? You want to watch it? You picked out a Paw Patrol movie? Brave Heroes. Okay, let's open it. You want to watch it? Okay, take off your jackets. I just made the chili dip. Cream cheese, um, this stuff, and cheese. I'm gonna put it in the microwave for five minutes. 
I'm making Phoenix French toast. Anyway, because that's what they want to eat right now for a snack. So, here we go. Okay, I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing me talk about work, 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 but changing from a diaper bag to my work bag. <laughs> I, this is done putting this downstairs. I still have diapers and wipes in here for weekends and stuff, but took everything out of there. I think I should wash it actually now I look at it. And I'm about to open this up, take everything that I've been piling in there, organize it, and see what I'm missing. So I'm excited. Oh, I gotta get my planner too, because that has to go in there. My do it all mom planner. I'm pretty sure I'm packing way too many things for Avery, but I just wanted to give her a lot of. I literally had to run to the living room 20 times because these kids keep fighting. What's going on? Phoenix, leave her alone. She's playing. She left you alone. And he gets upset. He takes off his shirt. Good job, Avery. So I know tomorrow's not going to be easier for her, so I just wanted to send her a lot of snacky type foods because I don't know what she's going to eat. I think she's going to say no to everything, but I have a banana. You can never go wrong with a banana. A cereal bar. She likes a cereal bar. I kind of, she loves crackers, she loves ham and cheese. I think I'm going to put more cheese and more ham, but um, I just put a whole bunch of crackers. But she can just eat crackers, like that's like, all she can eat, she'll be happy. So I got her crackers, so I figured for lunch I'll tell them to give her this with the banana. Or if she doesn't want to eat any of that, then maybe give her the cereal bar. She's not going to starve. Um, in here I have some cut up grapes, and then in here I have some cold fish and then her yogurt so i mean she has more than enough stuff oh and then this in the morning they have you can give them breakfast they said like when you get there take them to their assigned seat and put their breakfast out in front of them um she's gonna eat here but just in case she's like crying and upset i think maybe fruit loops would get her i don't know but i can if everybody else is sitting and eating maybe i can just put that there for her so i'm just gonna take that with me and if not take it back but so there's that I don't know. I don't know. I just hope she has a good day. So they have a morning snack. So I figured for a morning snack, she can have goldfish or grapes or even her yogurt. And then, like I said, for lunch. So I mean, and then they have an afternoon snack. And all this will go with water. So I'm going to put her water cup in here. And then also just a bottle of water on the side. Because I don't know if they, like, if she runs out of water, if they have water. I'm assuming they do, but just to be on the safe side. And then I put her name on everything even like these things that are gonna be thrown away i even put it on the banana oh boy now to do phoenixes which is gonna be a lot more simple because he doesn't eat much okay i'll spare you guys this craziness that's going on here but i just want to film this clip really quick it is like 10 40 something the super bowl just finished my friends our friends just left and now i'm going to lay down to try and sleep i feel really really tired but i'm also very nervous and i'm hoping that when i lay down i can actually fall asleep so i'm feeling anxious and nervous i have my alarm set for six o'clock i think i'm gonna put it for 5 30 so i can snooze or if i in case i snooze um because i normally put it for six and i'm always snoozing i know that i'm not gonna um, I don't even know what I was saying. I know that I'm not going to be able to sleep much, and I'll probably be up early anyway, but I want to be up with enough time to just kind of calm my nerves before I go. And, yeah, so then me and John are going to go drop them off at the daycare, and then John will come back and get ready for work. Um, and yeah, that's it. So, I want to put this up while you guys are watching this. I'm either putting it up tonight or in the morning. Um, but I should be at work and I will be vlogging tomorrow whenever I get a chance because I'm thinking that in the morning it's going to be hectic, but I'll try. I'm definitely going to vlog like the kids and stuff, but everything is ready. Lunches are made. Everything is made. I just have a couple things I have to do in the morning, like make certain things and put them in the lunch boxes, give the kids breakfast, shower and get dressed and that's it. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching <laughs> subscribe if you haven't already because we are about to begin the working mom journey and i'm very excited and anxious and nervous and avery is going to start daycare and i'm 
just hoping it's a good day because it has been a hard two past two days with her and so i'm hoping that tomorrow is not so hard for her at daycare so anyways thanks for watching and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye